You may wonder why these elephants are so aggressive. To find out why, one has to look back into the past. During the 1970s and 80s, 750,000 elephants were killed illegally in Africa under cover of legal trade. Ivory was seen as a source of revenue for the elephant range states. However, illegal traders infiltrated and dominated the market and poaching decimated the herds. Kenya's elephant population plummeted from 180,000 to 20,000. Once tusks had been carved into trinkets, there was no way of telling whether they were made from legal or illegal ivory. To anyone who knows elephants, it's obvious that these two are living in an unnatural, solitary world of their own. The mother is kept at bay, while the men on the ground struggle to hold down the calf and ascertain what is wrong with it. It's the victim of a wire snare. Once the snare has been removed, the men can see the calf's wounds are very serious. It would soon die if reunited with its mother, and there's only one chance left for its survival. The David Sheldrick Wildlife Trust believes it's unethical to let orphaned elephants die out of hand, especially as in many cases their predicament has been caused by people. The young warrior comes to see the little elephant he rescued two years ago. <laughs> Mishak has a special relationship with elephants and has influenced many people to care for wildlife. But to be surrounded by inquisitive elephants can be somewhat unnerving, even for a warrior. These 12-year-old bulls, Nduma and Dika, have spent months away with the wild elephants. Mishak, the Sheldrick Trust head keeper, notices a wound on Dika's musk gland and decides to clean it out. On March the 28th, 2002, 10 elephants were shot dead by bandits in a remote part of the Savo National Park. They were killed at dusk, and the tusks hacked out by the light of the full moon. The rangers set out on the tracks of the bandits. At any moment, they could be fired upon from long distance. Several rangers have died in this way. This waterhole, the only one in the area, was probably made by elephants. Now, one of the people responsible for the death of so many elephants lies dead. The dead man was carrying 120 rounds of ammunition, which he would surely have used to kill many more elephants, and rangers too, if he could. But even more ominous is the fact that this man was carrying a rifle-launched grenade. Such a weapon would bring down an aircraft and indicates that the stakes are rising. Trees growing in a certain pattern are as clear to the bandits when returning to collect their booty as the signs on a motorway. The rangers can read signs too. And so, once again, men die as do elephants when ivory is in demand. Why do we allow this? Do we really need ivory? Do we need the minimal returns that it brings at such risk to lives and industry?